In this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to rip paper apart and reveal text behind it. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll build the setup with two paper parts using only standard effects. Actually rip the paper apart and animate the title. Either way, works great in other formats as well, I think. Without any further ado, let's dive right in. First of all, let's create a new comp. 1920 by 1080 pixels. Name it footage. 72 frames long and add some footage. That's how we make sure it'll be easy to change the footage anytime in the future. Alright. I love the colors of the flower. I need to scale it down a little and position it. All comps need to go in the comps folder. Then let's create another comp. Shift Command N. Name it Paper Rip. Same settings. Let's add a new solid then. Shift Command Y. Name it Background. Color doesn't matter and head over to the Effects and Presets window to add a gradient ramp. First of all, let's adjust the points to give it a diagonal direction. Color-wise, let's go for some dark purple and black. And of course, let's add lots of ramp scatter to avoid color bending. Then we add a white solid and name it Paper Bottom. Select the layer, grab the pen tool and draw a mask somewhere along the horizontal center. Slightly uneven, imitating a paper rip. Don't go too crazy. We go down to the left and close the mask. Next, let's add some effects. We add roughened edges. Set the border to 20. Add sharpness to around 4.5, scale to around 160, complexity to 10. And to hide the edges, let's scale the solid up to 103%. Alright, that looks much more paper lag. Then we add turbulent noise for a hint of texture. Fractal type, turbulent basic, noise type soft linear, contrast 100, brightness 50. We open Transform and set the scale to around 1000. Complexity 10. And to tone it down, we set the opacity to 25%. Finally, we add a drop shadow for some depth. Set the distance to 0, the softness to 50. Next, we duplicate the layer, name it Paper Top, and set the mask to Subtract. We duplicate the two layers and name them Paper Shake Bottom and Paper Shake Top. And delete the turbulent noise effects. Then we select the two shade layers and duplicate them. And name the new layers Footage Mask Bottom and Footage Mask Top. and delete the two drop shadow effects. Let's sort these layers. Pair the paper layers, the shade layers and the footage layers. All right, then we select the top four layers and press M to open the mask properties. Then we link the shade bottom to the footage bottom mask, the shade top to the footage top mask to make sure they each have the exact same shape. Finally, we add the footage comp twice. Once below the footage mask top and once below the footage mask bottom. Then we set the track mats of the footage comps to luma mat. You might see this little crack here. Let's go back into the footage comp, add a solid with any kind of bright color. We go back and now adjust the mask of the footage mask top to close it. You could also adjust the footage mask bottom of course. Awesome. Let's hide the solid again. I quickly changed the label colors of the layers. Yellow for all the top layers blue for all the bottom layers. <laughs> Much more organized, which it should be. Let's animate. To move several layers together, we add two null objects. You could also press Shift Option Command Y. <laughs> Name one layer lower part, the other one upper part. We select all the blue layers and link them to the lower part now. All the yellow layers to the upper part now. 
Then we select the nulls, press A to open the anchor point property, grab the anchor point tool and move the two anchor points to where the crack hits the right corner. Let's check that out. We need rulers, command R and let's add a guide. Okay, hide the rulers again. Awesome. Much easier to position the anchor points. It doesn't need to be really accurate though. Then we select the two nulls, press P and R to open the position and rotation properties, switch to the selection tool, go to 5 frames and set rotation keyframes. We go to 9 frames, set the lower part rotation to minus 1, the upper part rotation to 1. The left part is already ripped apart. Then we go to 10 frames, set position keyframes and set the rotation to 2 and minus 2 degrees to increase the crack. Because of the rotation, we need to scale up the footage a little to make sure it covers the whole screen. Let's select the two layers, open the scale properties and scale it up to around 103%. At 12 frames, we move the upper part up, the lower part down, and set the rotations back to 1 and minus 1. Then we add easy ease in to these last keyframes. Now we need to adjust the masks of the paper top and bottom layers. That's why we didn't link these two masks to the footage masks. Looks good for me. Then let's close the gap again. We go to 48 frames, set keyframes for all four properties. Then go to 54 frames and copy and paste the four most left keyframes. And let's add easy ease in to all keyframes. And maybe move the rotation ones back to 51 frames. Awesome. One last thing. We grab the title tool and add some text. Scale it. Position it. And let's give it a bright orange color as well, which relates to the picture. Then move the text layer down above the background layer. We go into paragraph, align the text to the center, go into align and align the layer to the vertical center. Let's open the text property and add a position animator. We change the position in the animator so that it disappears below the crack. Go to 10 frames and set a start keyframe. We go to 22 frames and set it to 100%. and add easy ease in to both keyframes. Awesome! To adjust the height of the paper parts, you either go to 12 or 48 frames, select the two inner position keyframes of the nulls and then change the position. Same with the lower part. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. See you in the next video, bye!